Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video for Chengdu. Today is going to be a very packed schedule for us. Instead of breaking this video into little sections of different places, I'm just going to make it into a whole full day vlog. Stay tuned, enjoy. This time I stayed at Shangri-La in Chengdu. The location is on point. Everywhere is so close by. I'll see you guys when I get to the first place. Our first spot for the day for some Chengdu traditional style breakfast. I'm gonna post the name of the restaurant and the address down in the description area. We're actually crazy lucky there is no line outside the restaurant right now. Usually this place is packed as hell. I really love the city of Chengdu. This city is famous for the slow vibe. It's like a perfect place for you to retire. This place was actually open since 1924. They want you to order your food first before you sit down. By now, there's a lot of stuff that's actually not available already. They're famous for the soft tofu. Soft tofu is like popular everywhere in China, except in Guangzhou province. They're more popular for the sweet taste. Over here in Chengdu, they like the salty taste. We ordered a bunch of dishes that could technically represent Chengdu's breakfast. First, this is pork belly. They slow cook it, steam it with rice. And of course, we got the soft cooked tofu, both the sweet and the salty. But look at the salty one here. They even add chili oil spice to it. We also got this noodle with spicy and sweet. Look at how thick the noodle is. This is also crazy famous here. I could feel the heat right away. It's a way they cook the duck. This is another kind of noodle that's very famous here in Sichuan area, which we see in the US. It's called Dan Dan Noodle. The noodle thickness and texture is very different compared to the sweet and chili noodle. I'm gonna mix this up. The chili oil is perfectly mixed into this soft tofu. Almost smells like Chengdu hot pot. They also got peanuts. <laughs> I like this a lot. It's like tofu and hot and sour soup, except has a crap ton of chili oil inside. The tofu is very soft. Now I'm gonna try this same thing, but the sweet version. Apparently they add wine in it. I could smell it when I was by. I personally like the spicy and the sour version more than this. I like the salty stuff more than the sweet stuff. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite stuff. I barely would see this in the US. I feel like everything in Chengdu, they like to add the peppers that makes your mouth numb. I really like the texture of this. You really taste the sticky rice around the pork belly and inside the pork belly is very soft. Mostly fat, which is my favorite part. <laughs> Not very good for diet. Next up, let's try this famous duck they got. I want to see what's the difference between the roasted duck that we see in the US and like Chinese markets and stuff. Usually I love to eat roasted duck, but this is clearly not roasted. It's like slow cooked, brings a bit of a sweetness. They don't even want it to be crispy. Like the skin, the meat is just very soft. And when you bite into it, it, it looks dry from the outside, but inside it's very juicy. Next up, this is must order breakfast item. I would say over here in Chengdu, it's called the chili sweet noodle. The noodle is very thick and huge. It is a bit tough to mix it up because of how thick the noodle is. Very different to the other places noodle I've tried where it's a bit chewy. This one is like not chewy, it's just very soft. And I really like the sauce. They don't just add oyster sauce to make it sweet, but they also add the chilies. Brings that little spiciness to it. Next up, it's Tan Tan Noodle. I wanna see if it's very different to the ones in the US. The noodle is very dry up top, so I'm just gonna flip it because all the chili sauce is on the bottom. We definitely let it sit for too long. That's why it's a bit tough to mix it up. The noodle texture for the Tan Tan Noodle is very bouncy here. I prefer this more than the sweet version. All this food costs 100 RMB Chinese Yuan, which is equivalent to less than 20 US dollar. It's insane, definitely feeds three people and gets you very full.
After you eat your first breakfast over there, you just take a little walk and it will bring you to the center of Chengdu where the IFS center and everything is. After this little walk, you will see the IFS center right behind me. I'm not sure if you guys can see right there, there's the little panda ass on the wall. This is like the perfect place for you to get photos. Opposite to IFS, you will see all these souvenir stores. Right there is the famous panda climbing up on the wall. I personally recommend you guys to come opposite of the plaza to get the best view, to get photos in this kind of angle so you're like holding his ass. Don't go opposite, usually there are gonna be a lot of people down right underneath it. When you walk into IFS, come to level seven. That's where the actual panda is. You have two choices. One is just take photo of the panda from outside of here. If you wanna go in front, you gotta line up. They even give you umbrellas because it gets very hot. After you finish at IFS, you just take a little cab, come over here to Quanzai Alley Service Center. This is where the Quanzai Alley is. It's very similar to the first night when we go to Jingli. It's a street full of snacks, food, and shopping. The reason why this place is called Quanzai Xiangzi Alley because these alleys inside, they're like very old school traditional and some are very narrow, some are very wide. It's like everywhere you go in Chengdu, there's people clearing their ears. China Ni Ling. I'm not sure if you guys know the sneaker brand. This is actually from China. Over here, their renovation is very special. Look at all the bamboo elements they use. This panda doesn't look like the panda on the photo. This looks kind of like a little mouse more than a panda. The cost of this is 35 RMB, Chinese Yuan, almost 5 US dollars. And I like the fact that they put the Chengdu logo in a bamboo cup. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it after I eat the ice cream though. Honestly, it tastes like McDonald's ice cream. Ears of the panda is made of, I guess, Oreo, but I don't think this is actual Oreo. Probably like a fake version of Oreo. Right now, I'm at the narrow alley. Definitely more food around here. The wide alley was mostly restaurants and shows and stuff. A lot of different souvenir store. But over here, it's like more food, snacks, like street food. We're gonna watch a very traditional Chinese culture Sichuan show in Chengdu. Chengdu, they always like to come in, watch these kind of shows, sit down, order a nice cup of tea, and chill.
Secret is the most famous show in Sichuan Chengdu where it's called face changing. Basically, they wear a mask and they just keep changing their face. show experience is pretty good it really lets you get a taste of Chengdu from there price isn't so bad the ticket price per person is around a bit over three US dollar for all that different kind of shows everywhere in China you will see these lottery tickets like scratch tickets you definitely got to try and see if I could get some good money in. I won absolutely nothing. This is crazy. This is ice cream made out of the Chinese alcohol called Mao Tai. Mao Tai is like very high degree alcohol too.